Webcam lessons are a terrific way for teachers to work with students who may not be able to travel to their location due to distance or even due to inclement weather. Uh, for example, we just had some of the worst snowstorms here in the Philadelphia area, but my student was still able to have her lesson by webcam without having to travel through the record-breaking snowfall. Now, in most webcam lessons, teachers and students are limited to what they can see of each other through the webcam itself, much like the way that you're seeing me and my piano in this video. But if you wanted to jump to a certain portion of the music or work out annotation details like fingerings, pedalings, bowings, things of that nature, you would have to either call out measure numbers or painstakingly describe the location in the music that you're talking about and dictate the markings on the music page. Now, I'd like to show you how easy it is to add views of the music score itself directly from your computer's desktop into a live webcam video feed using Skype and a program called Music Reader for Mac and PC computers. First off, let's go over what's needed for a basic webcam music lesson setup. Since I'm using my laptop computer here as my music reader, I like to set up a separate webcam that can be placed away from my instrument, giving me a workable view of my hands, my posture, and my piano. In addition to downloading and installing the Music Reader program, which is available for purchase from www.airturn.com, both teacher and student will need to download and install Skype, a free internet voice and video phone program. Now, most computers have microphones, speakers, and headphone jacks built in, and you should be pretty good to go with that. But if your computer's speakers don't sound that great, then I would recommend using a pair of headphones to listen to the webcam lesson. If you're not happy with the quality of your computer's built-in microphone, you might want to consider adding a good USB condenser microphone like this blue snowball. Another optional accessory is a digital pen, like this Wacom Bamboo Graphics tablet, which attaches to my computer's USB port and makes it much more comfortable to use music reader's built-in ink and highlighting capabilities to mark up the music. Finally, working with sheet music in a digital format gives you the opportunity to experience hands-free page turns with the AirTurn wireless pedal system. Music Reader and AirTurn are available together as a bundled package at the AirTurn website. So now let's take a few moments to talk about how to set up Skype for music lessons. Within the Skype program, click on Tools at to the top menu bar, and then select Options on the drop-down menu. Within Options, we're going to select the Audio Settings to change our microphone. I'm using an external microphone, so I want to make sure that the blue snowball is selected. If you want to use an internal one, that's fine too, but just make sure you have your desired microphone set. Now we're going to uncheck automatically adjust microphone settings. This will prevent Skype from dropping in and out and adjusting the volume for your music. For the speakers, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to select the speakers you want to listen to and then uncheck automatically adjust speaker settings to make sure that the sound quality remains constant instead of having the volume shift up and down. Click on Save to save your settings. Then we're going to go back one more time to Tools and then the submenu Options. And this time we're going to select our video settings to make sure we have the correct webcam selected. Here I have my external Logitech webcam selected so that it's not uh, it's, it's overriding the internal webcam camera to make sure I have the correct view going into Skype. Click on Save and you should be good to go. Okay let's take a look at using Skype and Music Reader together. I'm going to open up Skype I already have my person selected I'm going to call. I'm going to place a video call by clicking that button over there. Let's switch over to the student's computer screen mode and you can see the student is receiving the phone call. So you can press the middle button to answer it by video. And in just a second the webcams will be activated and you'll be able to see the camera view in the main window over there. Then you can see a smaller view of your own camera in the bottom left 
of that video window. Switching back to the teacher view, what I'm going to do now is to just kind of get my desktop organized so that I can see the music. I'm going to start up Music Reader. Clicking on that icon opens up the program and um, I'm going to be given the option to see the music in a variety of formats. Double, half, rotated page, single page. Uh, for the purposes of this illustration we're going to choose a half page. That'll make the music um, a little bit larger to see on the screen for right now. So select that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start resizing my windows and just again just adjusting my workspace so that I can see everything clearly. I'm going to select the option to resize this window, changing it from full screen mode to sizable mode. Clicking on the top title bar enables me to move the entire window and then I can click and drag the sides and corners of the program's window to resize it. I'm clicking on the title bar of the Skype window to move my video portion over and then I'm going to again just make some final workspace adjustments so I can see the video and the music at the same time. Now right now the student is only seeing the video feed of me. Uh, he's, the student is not seeing the music yet. But as soon as I'm finished adjusting this, I'm going to show you how I can sh basically share the screen view or select a portion of my screen to the student. By clicking on the small arrow button next to the volume button and then going down to share your screen, I'm going to select the share selection option over here. That will open up a transparent window pane. I'm going to click and drag this top part to where I want to start sizing it and I'm going to drag the lower corner just to kind of fill up that window with the music. And then I can start sharing this view by clicking the start screen sharing button over here in the top corner. We're going to flip over in just a second and this is the student's view right now. They've been, they've been seeing just the video of me and now as soon as I click that start screen sharing they can see the music that I'm sharing with them. Back to the teacher view, I'm going to show you what it looks like when I start marking off within Music Reader. I'm going to start drawing a couple things and you can see in that corner there that's the student view so you can, the student can see me marking up the music simultaneously. Music Reader has a great uh, variety of tools, not only for drawing with pens, but also with, for creating stamps. And you can use multiple colors as well. These stamps can be either clicked on or clicked and dragged to, uh, for different sizes. So if you have a pen, that's great. If not, that's all right too. You can use a regular mouse just to mark up the music accordingly. And you can see me just, the you know, nice thing about all these markings too is that everything's erasable. So I can simultaneously draw a couple of ideas and if I need to clear up the workspace quickly I can just erase them over again and uh, redraw on the same space to reduce clutter. And here I'm just showing you how it looks when I start changing pages. Music Reader has an intelligent half page viewing mode that will automatically adjust the view uh, so that it doesn't cut off. It's being cut off right now just because of the Skype window, but you can see what I mean in the student view as well. Now I'm going to stop the screen sharing. And I'm going to show you how to, how to go back to the video by clicking on that small video camera button, again next to the arrow button, next to the, the volume button. That'll then reconvert me back to showing the video view of myself. So that's how you can switch back and forth between video views and desktop screencast views of the music. So I hope I've gotten you excited about the great possibilities of making your webcam lessons far more effective and productive simply by being able to see and annotate the music score itself on your computer and through your video feed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you online.